Hey, good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It's Ronald Robert here with the Hustle Nation. We're all about some financial independence, getting some side hustles going and everything like that. So, you would not believe what happened to me, okay? So, yesterday, I'm tooling around. Actually, not yesterday. Uh, yesterday is Tuesday. Monday, I noticed check engine light on the dash of my truck. So I called Phil at Mayhem Motorsports. Said, hey, man, you got a diagnostic machine? He said, I do. I said, okay, can I come by tomorrow morning? He said, bring it. So we did. So we go down there, check it out and everything. We got a cylinder not firing. So we basically it's a situation where you got to change some parts and hope for the best. And so we started with coil packs and... Um, Never have done a tune-up on my truck since I got it, so we went ahead and got new spark plugs and things of that nature, and Phil and his crew was doing the job making that happen. Right across the street, I own a house, and I've got two trucks parked over there, so I'm going to go over there and just borrow one of my, my little Mazda, okay? And here's the thing about this Mazda. All right, this Mazda, and I got Nuisance Tyson right here and everything, I've had that Mazda since probably 99 or 2000, okay? It is the first vehicle that I ever got financed. Um, it's got 190,000 miles on it, still runs pretty good, and I've just always kept it around because, you know, you never know when you're going to need a spare vehicle. And actually, I started my construction business out of it. We were kind of doing handyman stuff and everything, and... You know, I had one or two toolboxes in the back of it, and then we ended up getting a job box, and then I got a little crappy trailer off of Facebook for $150, and uh, and then, you know, before you know it, we had a big truck and 16-foot enclosed trailer and more rental properties and big customer list and all that kind of stuff, so it's uh, it's been a really good truck for me. So I go across the street, go to get in it, crank it, that, 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 that. And, uh, and it finally fires. And I'm like, what in the world? I'm like, what the hell? You know, and I got a roofing crew that's living in this house, renting it from me. And I'm thinking, man, somebody must have taken my truck and, you know, been out raw hiding it or something, you know. It was locked. I don't have a spare key on that vehicle. I'm like, nah, you know, most of these guys are foreigners. And generally speaking, they all keep to themselves, you know. Um, they don't go out too often by on their own, you know, that sort of thing, because they're in a foreign country, and a lot of them don't speak the language and everything, and so, you know, we as humans are tribal. We stick with our own kind for the most part, you know, and so I ruled that out, and uh, got out, and it had been raining, and so I put my hand at the tailpipe, nothing. Let me tell you again. Put my hand by the tailpipe, nothing. This thing sounds like an obnoxious mosquito on steroids. Okay. This is one of those cars that's like these imports that they go and spend that high dollar money on them stainless polished exhaust and everything like that. And doing that number and everything. And I'm like, oh, Lord, this is not going to work. And so I drive and I get to a gas station that's no longer in business. I pull up underneath the canopy because there's dry pavement. I get out and I look and somebody had cut the catalytic converter off of that truck. Just as clean as day. They put a sawzall underneath it or something, but it's a nice, you know, it, it, a nice straight line and you're not going to get that with a hand hacksaw and especially not in that location. So... You know, it's just absolutely crazy. And I'm thinking to myself, man, you got to be pretty hard up to be stealing catalytic converters and everything, you know. And in this state, you have to have, my understanding is a dealer's license or a mechanic's note um, to be able to sell any of these catalytic converters to the scrapyard. They do have platinum in them. And then somebody told me, said, State of Alabama takes everything, and we're right next door. So, who knows? But here's the great thing is, is one, I haven't gone and spent all my money on everything in life 
when I've had good days with the dump trailer hustle and everybody paying rent and, you know, construction going and Carla killing it and everything, I didn't go and do that, okay? So I got money to get my vehicle fixed. Number two, I got money to get the little Mazda fixed as well. And number three, it's a blessing to have multiple vehicles. There's a lot of people that can't even afford one. And if I got vehicles to break down, that means that uh, I'm doing pretty good. So my thing to you is today is everything is all about perspective. You know, I could sit there and say it sucks and I hate thieves and I do hate a thief. But the thing is, is that, you know, this is just the cost of existing in life and having luxuries. You know, I mean, if, it, if, you, want, if you want to enjoy air conditioning, you're going to take a risk of the AC breaking. It's just the way that it goes. Have yourself a very wonderful day.